right, so. This is exactly how we found these mystery lilies. They were on our doorstep, just left here. We don't know by whom. Um, the reasoning, probably someone just wanted them out of their garden, not sure. But I will never say no to free flowers and by chance the person who donated these to our front step, we would just like to extend a thank you because hey, I'll give any flower a chance. Right, Millie? Yeah. Okay, let's get these loaded up. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. I am back. We're out here at the farm. Wallace is all excited. It's another hot day, end of September 2021. <laughs> I know. Okay, go find a spot of shade, because I'm not it. Today, we are planting up this bag of mystery. Um, okay, sit down. I'm, I'm, I'm not a tree. I don't have enough shade for the both of us. Oh my goodness. Sorry for the cute interruption. Okay, okay, keep trucking. Keep trucking. Unless you're gonna help divide. All right, so these clearly are lily bulbs. Super stoked. I have no idea what they look like. You can see this hole here. That's where the um, where the stem would have popped out. So this here is one. Put it in here. This here is another. I'm just gonna keep that little stem on as an indicator of like hello in here. Oh, here's another little guy. See, this one probably didn't flower, but it did shoot up. So this one's, this little bulbed is like probably a year old from seed. This is kind of exciting. It's kind of like Christmas, like, ooh. I should have tried taking more of the soil off. I don't know where, what is in there, but oh well. The risk you take with free plants, right? So all I'm doing is I'm taking a bunch like this and I'm just trying to gently remove soil so I can get here and see how there's two bulbs. What I want to do is just gently divide that. Come on girl, there we go, just like that, perfect. And they, random. See, and they each have some good white viable roots. They each had a stalk and they will love the extra room. And then I just keep doing that. And you see the little ball bites? They grow up along the stem, so there's one. I should have had some water with me, I guess it might go a little quicker. That little guy. Pretty compact soil. They'll be pretty happy to uh, be in some nice loose stuff. Oh yeah, these guys definitely needed to be divided. They're gonna be so happy. Look at three. A bunch of little. See, this would be like, this would be how they, they start dividing. I have no idea what kind this is. I have a little section here by the Liatris. Um, I'm just gonna fill it up. And we'll see next year what they look like. There's a whole bunch of them though. I can't believe how many there are. Be as gentle as you can, because you wanna try to get as much root with the little bulb as you can to give it the best, the best chance of success. 
And again, it would be probably a little easier if you were to moisten this. Wallace B! I'm just giving them a call because we're right beside the road. Not that they ever go too close to it. Good boy, Wallace. Thank you. Hi, B. She's right here. Oh, crazy to believe that I'm out here in a tank top in good September. I still can't believe that. So right now, I generally wouldn't be doing this on top of a tilled spot but we do plan to bark mulch over this because this is where we will be driving down the center we're in the center aisle right now and it's very windy and I'm using the truck which is directly beside us as a wind break because it's a windy day today <laughs> This plant all of this in one little clump. So I think there's a bunch of little, little ones. So there you have it. So I'm gonna set up my time lapse as we plant these out because I'm sure you don't need to be watching me in real time do that. And easy peasy. Um, it's suggested that if you're using lilies as cut flowers that you divide them every year, two years tops, um, or else the stems start getting really big and they get a lot maybe unmanageable unless that's what you're going for um, hey everyone's different and I'm, I appreciate that but right now I got to get these in the ground so come along and we have a little section here by our Liatris that is calling out for some of these mystery lilies I'm really excited and again thank you to whoever dropped them off at our front step we will always take um, some unwanted plants we got lots of room all right let's get at her I bring you our mystery lily bed. Oops, sorry. <laughs> mystery lily bed, and then the liatris followed by our daffodils to start that row off. Way up there. And then over here, a whole row of bearded iris. Two whole rows planted up. I am really, really excited. Um, be doing this to be getting these plants in the ground getting them snuggled in before winter so yeah hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and if not we'll catch you next video bye